about three years ago, I bought a Huion GT190 digital drawing camera. Since then, I was using it for about 8 to 10 hours a day, almost every single day. So in this video, I'm going to tell you what I love about this tablet and the things I hear about this tablet. And of course, if you should be buying it or not. I'm Sasha Bomba Tech Man, let's find out. Let's start with the things I love about the tablet because who want to hear the bad news first, yeah? So, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this tablet was used severely mercilessly for 3 years and 8 to 10 hours a day. Yet, except for a couple of tiny little scratches here and there on the display, uh, everything else is kind of fine. So, number one thing I love about it is the durability. This is actually not exactly about the tablet itself, but about this pen. This pen supports up to 2048 pressure levels and it comes with a built-in rechargeable battery. But you know usually when it comes to the rechargeable batteries, it tends to be quite annoying, yeah? But not this one. For the last three years after such a heavy usage, I don't remember recharging it more than six, seven times, maximum ten times. So. I think that's worth mentioning and uh, it's quite so special. That's the second thing I love about this tablet. Most probably this will be the number one reason for most of you guys to consider buying this tablet. The price. Let's talk about the other market competitors like the Wacom Cintiq 22 inch display. That's gonna cost you something more than $2,000, maybe even $2,500. And then the Microsoft Studio Pro. The new guy in the market, of course it comes with a built-in computer, but the base model with the Core i5 processor could to cost you more than $3,000. So how much does this Huion 190 cost? It's just $450 to $500. So most of you guys are like, okay, that's, that's enough, let's buy the tablet. No, I think there are some things that you really, really need to know before you decide. I'm going to tell you the things that I hate about this tablet the most. Maybe one of them will be a deal breaker for you. So let's find out if I can disappoint you. I think it's not good to start with the worst thing first. So I will start with the least craziest thing and go on. So the number one thing, the weaving angles. Come on, Vyar, you can do better than that. I mean, Unless if you're looking straight into the tablet, if you're a few degrees off, you're gonna have a hard time recognizing what's exactly on the tablet, especially what colors are on the tablet. It doesn't matter if it's vertically off or horizontally off, it's gonna be a problem. I think that's something you have to watch out, especially if you're a pro. Usually when you're using tech stuff, over time, they tend to have some problems with the USB ports and the USB cables and of course, it's a quite a minor issue. But then there was a problem with my tablet. Because of an issue with the USB port, the tablet stopped recognizing the pen responses. So I had to replace the built-in USB port. So uh, first I started with the USB 3.1, then USB 3.0, it did not work. USB 2, the same story. Then when I was almost about to give up, I found an old USB 1.1 mouse. I used that cable, attached it directly to the tablet and the problem was solved. So expect some 1990s tech stuff in this 2017 tablet as well. Huyen might even end up hating me for saying this, but I really, really do hope that this will help Huyen get better. And of course, I want to tell you guys what I really experienced as well. So, the first year, everything was fine. I was using the tablet. There were no problems. Everything was so smooth. I had nothing to complain about. But into the second year, bit by bit, the tablet started to get heated up when I use it for about 40-50 minutes. With the time, this time duration that it takes to get heated up became shorter and shorter. At the end, after about 10-15 minutes of use, the tablet started to get very hot. When I say that very hot, it means it even started to heat up my face as well. 
I, I started to get reddish and I started to have a headache and at the end I ended up having to go to the doctor. When I went to the doctor, I was prescribed to take the test called Doppler ultrasound of brain blood vessels. So the result was that I had to stop using the tablet. So not to be unfair for the Huyun, I must say that this might just well be a problem with this particular unit. And this was my 100% honest and real experience that I had with the tablet. So what is the conclusion? Yes and no. If you're not a pro or if you're a student or you're just starting your digital career, just go ahead and buy it. It's worth it. It's just $500. It will make you satisfied. At least it will add you quite a good experience for sure. But if you're a pro, come on guys, just save up some money that you spend on cheeks or shoes or clothes or whatever and get a Wacom Cintiq like I did. And if you want to know about my Wacom Cintiq, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and hit thumbs up button and write all your questions below in the comment section. I'll be reading them. And oh, I almost forgot that. If you are interested in funny animation storytelling, just go ahead and subscribe to my other channel where I do funny animation stories all by myself. Love you guys. See you in my next video. So in this video, I'm going to tell you what I love about that tablet and the things I love about it. Okay, this is nothing. Just do it like normal. No, it's not. Okay.